Have you ever been playing with your slime and you think, gee, I wish that this experience was significantly worse? Well, you're not alone, but you are a weird little guy, just like me. So today, we're going to try out a bunch of cursed slime textures to see which one is the best and which one is the absolute worst. Let's get into it. First up, corn. That's not coming out nearly as fast as I thought it would. So these are all cursed slime textures, and I was thinking about things that I do not want in my slime, and corn, here's the top of my list. Corn's like a little bit above the top of the list. So one time I was a kid and I went to a fall festival and they had a huge corn pit. I don't know if they have corn pits where you're from, but where I'm from, we do corn pits <laughs> a lot. And I went in there and I lost my favorite bracelet in the corn pit. And if you don't know, playing in a corn pit is not like playing in corn like you normally would on a normal Wednesday. Oh. Playing in a corn pit, there's like weird dust in there and also grime, because it's really where the children hang out at the fall festivals. So it was pretty nasty in there. Oh, it looks just like this. Oh, where's my bracelet? <laughs> no, but I couldn't find my bracelet. So I called this manager guy over. I was like, hey, I lost my favorite bracelet in the corn pit. Go do something about it, man. And he was like, no. So I never got my bracelet back and he never even tried. So that's my reason why I really don't like corn very much. This isn't that bad. It kind of feels nice. I hate to say it, this is actually coming out pretty cool. Ooh, very nice for bubbles. Look at that corn just gliding up there on top of the cloud. Ooh, very good pop of corn. <laughs> Now, I may not be the biggest fan of corn, but honestly, if I'm gonna be honest, adding slime to things sometimes just makes them 10 times better. So yes, this is a certified cursed slime texture. Do not attempt this at home, but I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. I don't think it's gonna be the worst thing we try today. So let's move on and see if the next thing is more cursed. Next up, we have spaghetti. But adding dry spaghetti into your slime is pretty boring. We know what it's gonna look like. We've done it before. So this time, we wanna put cooked spaghetti into our slime. But here's the problem, this is not cooked. For some reason, they give you the bags uncooked, which is such a waste of time. I could be eating this right now. But anyways, I need somebody to cook this for me, and I think I know just the person. Dan! Yeah? Could you cook me some spaghetti, please? Okay. That's right. Okay, so while Dan is cooking this, let's move on to our next cursed slime texture. Next up, we have moss. Now, I had no idea you can just get moss in a bag like this, but weird thing about me, I really like moss a lot. I think it's very cool. I used to have a rat named Moss. She looked just like this. So I thought, what would happen if you added moss to slime? I really don't have much of a backstory behind all of these things that I grabbed for the slime. I was just trying to think of the most cursed things I could possibly do. And moss seems like it should not be on slime. The things that we do for you beautiful viewers, smells like earth. Actually, no, it smells worse than the earth. <laughs> the earth smells good. This smells like bagged earth, which it is, that makes sense. Here is our beautiful little mossy scene. I wish I had like a little house to plop on right here, a little frog over here, that'd be so cute. But it's all gonna get mixed together anyway, so time to mix it together. Ooh, it feels super cool. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh my gosh. It looks like Oscar the Grouch had a haircut and left all of his clippings behind. Oh, that's really gross. Okay, but this looks cool. This is like when you're in the Everglades and you look down. There's like an ecosystem under there and you're up here. Is it cursed? The way that it's moving is pretty cursed. And the way that it absorbs so much slime for being so little moss, cursed. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. It sort of looks like a snake or an alligator is just gonna like randomly pop out. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hey guys, it's Steve, Steve's back. You guys remember Steve? Steve says hi, okay. I would say this is definitely more cursed than the corn slime because it's a little bit harder to move around, but we love Steve, so we're not gonna give it zero points. Maybe two? So for right now, this is our most cursed slime of the day, but I guarantee our slimes are gonna get worse and worse as we go along. Also, comment down below what you think of each of these slimes and which one's your favorite, because the next one I don't think is gonna be your favorite. <laughs> Welcome, or as they say, benvenuto to the Peachy Baby's Kitchen. Today we're cooking a nice pasta meal because Erin requested I cook her a nice meal for the Peach Babies video that she's filming today. So I'm gonna go back to my New York roots and my Italian heritage and make a fine spaghetti and sauce meal. First things first, we're gonna take our pasta pot and fill it up with water to boil. Step two is to place the water on the stove and set the heat on high until the water starts to boil. It'll bubble up, so that's what you're looking for. Now that our pasta water is boiling and bubbling, we're gonna open up our spaghetti and add it into the pot to let it cook 
for approximately 11 minutes, give or take. Usually I feel it out, you know, make sure the right consistency is there for how soft the pasta gets in the water. But 11 minutes is usually the perfect amount. Up next, ew, cat litter. You're probably thinking, ew. Well, I already said that, so not a very original thought, is it? Because I already said it, sorry. I'm kind of on edge because cat litter, it's gonna be an interesting situation, okay? I kind of have a hypothesis that cat litter is going to deactivate my slime. We're gonna see if this is a disgusting deactivated mess. And if it's not, imagine if this becomes a new recipe at Peach Babies. Like we have sand slime, we have cloud slime, we have cat litter slime. It smells really good, but I can't get out of my mind that it is cat litter, so it's still gross. But it's not inherently gross on its own, right? There's no reason for it to be gross yet in its current state. It's raining cat litter. So far, it's kind of okay. It's not deactivating the slime like I thought it would, which is disappointing because that was my hypothesis, but it's been disproven. I have to say, not the worst. Okay, I said it was gonna be the worst. It's actually not. This is a very satisfying slime to play with. It smells great. It has kind of like an exfoliating factor to it, sort of like a snow fizz. I actually like this more than a snow fizz, I think. Not better than our snow fizz slime. Our snow fizz slime is the best slime ever, and you can get it at peachybabies.com every Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But this, you cannot get at peachybabies.com every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, because this is just for me. And you, if you buy a clear slime from peachybabies.com every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then add your cat litter into it, you could do that, but maybe don't. <laughs> this slime, not not horrible, not amazing. I'll give it, this is crazy, okay? But this is a solid nine out of 10. I know that's so high, that's so crazy, but this is really fun to play with. Not super cursed. The idea of it is of course cursed, so it's still on the cursed scale. But the next one is something that maybe I shouldn't even do. So a long time ago, back in New York, I used to work in this pizza place and there was an old woman who owned it called Grandma Lucia. And Lucia, she taught me this little trick when cooking pasta. If you add a little bit of salt, it breaks up the starches and stops the pasta from sticking together. So you don't want to add too much because then the pasta is going to be too salty, but we're just going to add a dash of salt and it should be good. So now that it's been 11 minutes, the pasta should be cooked to perfection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the heat off and we're gonna strain it to get rid of the water and just have the pasta on its own in the sink. For this next slime, I really need to put some gloves on because we're dealing with something so much scarier than we've ever dealt with here before at PG Babies, except for that one other time that Christian did this exact thing that I'm about to do, but I'm doing it scarier because I'm afraid of needles. So I have here one little cup of a couple of thumbtacks. It's actually a lot more than it looks like, but we're trying to be safe here. So I'm gonna do a controlled amount, okay? Calm down. I'm not doing an insane amount, all right? Are you ready for the most terrifying reveal of all PG Babies? Ah. I did it too early, I wasn't ready. <laughs> now that right there looks cursed, treacherous, and scary all at the same time. Tax. Taxes are a scary thing that we all have to deal with, except for you, because you're probably not old enough to do taxes yet, but someday you will be. And these are not taxes, but they invoke the same kind of fear in me. I'm just talking so I can avoid putting my fingers into it. So this is, this is a dangerous situation. We're gonna handle this slime very gently. I'm a lot more gently lured than we normally would. Now this might look like a small amount of slime, it's because it is. <laughs> but if I were to do more slime than this, this would be getting increasingly more dangerous. So this is definitely the most cursed thing I've ever done at Peachy Babies. Imagine if I just slime squish right there. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm not doing that. It looks very cool, actually. I'm kind of a fan of it. And the, oh, what is that called? Adrenaline that I'm getting from playing with this right now is unspeakable because I couldn't even think of a word to describe it. Definitely cursed, definitely dangerous, definitely do not try this at home. If you try it at home, I'm gonna be really mad at you and I'm never making you slime ever again. So don't do it at home. Out of the scale of good to bad slime, this is a one out of 10. It works, it's a slime, but it's dangerous and horrible. So this is our number one most cursed slime of the day, but we still have two more and I have a bad feeling about them. So now that the pasta is done, we have to move on to the sauce. Now I have a secret family recipe, so I'm gonna have to do this off camera because I wanna keep this recipe in the family so none of you can know about it. Now all that's left to do is to take this fine spaghetti and sauce back to the warehouse to prepare a beautiful laid out dish for Erin because at the end of the day, cooking is about love. When Erin eats this, I want her to feel that passion and feel that love that I put into this dish because at the end of the day, that's what cooking is all about. Let's go back to the warehouse. 
Next up, we have crystal shards. Shards of actual crystals here, people, okay? So I don't know anything about crystals, um, but I see a lot of stuff about crystals, and I know that they're like spooky energy, change your life, make your life better, make your life worse. So what better place to put them than a slime? I don't really know what I'm talking about, though. I know nothing about crystals, and I don't think I'm going to learn anything about crystals anytime soon, but we're gonna see if this is a cursed slime texture. So I'm gonna take this little dollop of slime first because I love how it looks when you add slime to dry things. So that, I actually love that so much. That's so pretty. Imagine if this had like life-changing properties in it. Best slime ever. This entire tray of crystals was given to me specifically to do with however I like. Actually, get out of there. What are you doing? So I'm going to add all of it into my slime. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Time to mix it all together. So what this slime is making me feel right now is Nothing, actually, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. I think I'm supposed to feel something, but I don't feel anything. Maybe these are defective, I don't know. But this isn't the only thing that I wanted to add to this slime. So this would be the base of the slime. Basically a crunchy slime, but just with crystals in it instead of any sort of charms. And then for our topper, we have some bigger pieces of crystals. How beautiful is that? Oh my gosh. This is just like, you're in an amazing, beautiful Minecraft cave. Kind of looks like pink Himalayan salt. So for this slime, yes, it is cursed because of the nature of the crystals. Besides that, it's actually a fantastic slime. I'm actually gonna keep this for my own personal slime collection. So eight or nine out of 10. But you know, Dan has been cooking that spaghetti for a while and I'd really like to try out that cursed slime texture. So I wonder what's taking Dan so long with the spaghetti. All right, my spaghetti masterpiece is done, and now it's time to give it to Erin and hope she enjoys it. Good evening, Madam Erin. Your dinner is served. Thank you so much. This is gonna be perfect for <gasps> our cursed spaghetti slime. What baby? <laughs> that was a weird reaction. Um, anyways, huh? so this is our cursed spaghetti slime. I love spaghetti, I love slime. I'm not sure why he put those noodles all over it. I didn't ask for that. I just wanted him to cook the noodles, but he really went all out for this, which is unique. Anyways, how is this slime coming together? This is definitely an unusual feeling texture right now. The sauce is deactivating the slime. I think this, this experiment's gonna be a little bit harder to really gauge, seeing as there's a lot of pasta sauce on here. Why did he even get that? Let's just add the rest of it in here. Okay, so this is an interesting situation that I found myself in here you guys. The slime is falling apart. This is like unbelievably cursed. Unbelievably cursed. That's all I can really say about it. The, <laughs> the sauce has completely deactivated the slime. I'm basically trapped in like the grossest slime situation I've ever been in. The pasta itself seems like it had potential. Maybe we'll sell a pasta slime someday. I kind of doubt it though, because this is, I feel like I'm being attacked. Help me. <laughs> so how cursed is this slime? I would say this is the worst slime I think I've ever created. Um, definitely the most cursed. We will not be revisiting this idea. Shout out to Dan for making pasta and shout out to you for watching the video. I will see you next time. <laughs>